And the Liverpool High School gym was packed today with lots of robots. So something a little different there. News Channel 9's Casey Honigbaum was there to see what the excitement was all about. It looked a little different than what you'd normally see in a high school gymnasium, but Matt Stark feels right at home. I didn't really fit into any normal mode. I wasn't a sports kid or anything like that, and my high school had a robotics team. Stark teaches technology and engineering at Liverpool Central School District, and he's been in charge of the VEX Robotics competition for eight years. What's really cool about this competition is this is a way for our high school students to apply their science, technology, engineering, and math skills, or STEM skills. And they can do that in a hands-on, problem-solving way that's competitive and gets, uh, gets really good going. So this is Bagel. This okay. is our robot. She's a claw bot. Uh, we've won two out of three games. And, uh, so the games themselves scratch the competitive itch. There are two robots versus two robots, head-to-head, -head, and they're trying to score as many points as possible. Here's these goals almost. They're like almost like uh, dog bowls with a, a stick in them, and you have to move them around and move them to your side, and then you can balance them on this balance beam. But that's not the only reason to join a team. Um, I just like the community and, you know, just how fun it is. It's like a second family when we're all together. It's just a really nice bond. A bond that for Stark, turned into a career. I was one of these students many years ago, and I fell in love with it. So eventually I worked my way into becoming a technology education teacher, and now I use that same passion to inspire students to do the same thing. And although today featured a different kind of competition inside the gymnasium behind me, those competitive juices were flowing all afternoon. In Liverpool, Casey Honigbaum, News Channel 9.